Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you hear a little something, my kids stay home sleeping in the living room. But I'm in this room, okay? Sometimes they tend to get a little loud, even though I told them to be quiet. But, and right now they learn they can't be quiet. So, Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back, guys. Thanks. I had to finish this up because, you know, I don't got much time to puff while I'm on video recording. But y'all be wanting me to get to the point, so. Um, I got a song for you guys. Your song is Maxwell. Lifetime. I was reborn when I was broken. I couldn't believe. I don't know that song, y'all. But I'm going to tell y'all the chorus. I can't let my life pass me by. No. I can just try and try. Work it all out this time. Work it all out this time. Okay. I feel like there are Geminis that are feeling like they are winning a fresh start. Feeling as if they have wasted enough time. Tired of life passing by and having something and have and not having something um, exciting to live for because you've been so busy trying and trying to make something work that just isn't worked that just hasn't worked or doesn't work. This triggers a rebirth in you. Um, you will begin to have a sense of starting anew. Some of you could just shift suddenly to where one week you were concerned with fixing something and in the matter of a week or two you find yourself just letting it go. In order to find something worth living for versus something worth fighting for. I hope y'all caught that. I hope that made sense and I hope it didn't go over your head. Okay. There is more to happiness than fighting for what you want or deserve. Some of you will be declining a chance at a new beginning or a redo with someone that you have had strong sexual chemistry with but that's all you're looking for something a little more stable and secure or they are some of you will be freeing yourself from disappointment and feeling unsure you may have been stuck here for quite some time but you will be finding your way out ending the cycle with the strategy that you have come up with Gemini. Thinking of a master plan. That's what you're doing this week. Okay? So, without further ado, we're just going to jump right in it. I don't like it. That's it. Jump right in. God. Universe. What well, have Of August seventeenth. The card shall be revealed. Thank you. What do you have for Gemini for the week of August the seventeenth? For the sign of my Gemini. What do we have for August the 17th for Gemini? What do we have for my Gemini for August the 17th? Okay. First card out is the Ten of Pentacles. Second card, Five of Cups. Third card, Queen of Wands. What else do we have for my Gemini for the week of August the 17th? For Gemini for the week of August the 17th. Queen of Swords. What other messages do we have for my Gemini for the week of August the 17th?
the Empress. The Four of Wands. Three more cards out here for Gemini. Whoa. That's way too many, guys. Way too many. You just need three. Three cards for Gemini. Three more cards for Gemini. Three more cards for Gemini. Three more cards. Two more cards for me. Now that one has fallen. Two more cards for Gemini. Two more. We have the Judgment. That's coming out a lot. The Judgment, the Six of Pentacles, and one last card for Gemini. The King of Cups. With the Princess of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Looks like as a result of some commitment, you were disappointed, okay? But you begin to regain your confidence, your strength to feeling good in order to stand in your truth and cut off what does not serve you, okay? In order to have a new beginning, something stable, something as a result of karma, something that's balanced, that offers reciprocity, something that is emotionally mature and, you know, that shows up emotionally. So, let's clarify. God, universe. Angels and spirit guides. Plus the ten of For the sign of Gemini. Let show us the ten of pinnacles. Ten of Pentacles, Gemini. How's it here? Ten of Pentacles. And if it wasn't a commitment, it was something that you seen that had the potential to be a commitment. I'll look at that popping out. So I'm gonna say that. So you see, there's the potential to have a put uh, to be a commitment, but somebody could have been immature or more about passion. Whatever it was, if you disappointed and hurt your feelings, okay? With the five of cups and the wounded warrior. Why is the five of cups here for the sign of Gemini? Five of cups. I'm here over time. So I feel like this is a disappointment that you you experience over time of dealing with somebody that may be a little bit younger than you or less mature than you. Five of Cups for Gemini. Why is the Five of Cups here for Gemini? Page of Swords. Yeah. So, um, then I was telling you, uh, where you feel like you wasted a lot of time, okay, and you need to just take that new route, start fresh, there's that starting fresh card, okay, after disappointment, okay, five of cups, too much disappointment, you've experienced enough, and you just want to set up on a new journey, find something new, something fresh, something refreshing for yourself, why right, is this five of cups here, two more for the five of cups. A decision. Two of Wands. To sell away the common waters. Yep. You're just done. You've had it. You know, you can't take it no more. You put in all that you seem to feel like that you were able to put in. And it's just not working. So you're setting upon a new journey for yourself. And you're feeling confident about it. To Queen of Wands. You know exactly where you want to go. What you want out of life and out of a relationship. And it's just, it just doesn't seem to be it. Queen of Wands. Justice, making a decision to choose yourself and, and disciple, move forward, okay, to change your luck, to change your fortune, standing in your truth, for cutting off what don't serve you with the Queen of Swords, 
One more for the Queen of Swords. One more card on the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. Retreating. Cutting off the bullshit. Moving away from deceptiveness. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Not waiting. Selling upon a new journey. Okay? Having a new beginning here with the Empress. Leaving behind things that hurt. Or things that bring hurt. Over and over and over. What's the Empress here? The Gemini. This is your fresh new beginning that you're brought upon. Something that's stable. Something that you get as a result of choosing yourself. You have the response to Empress here. Okay, that's you starting this new beginning here. And it's, then somebody comes in here with this person. Probably the same person that you keep on the merry-go-round with. Sitting in fast communication about wanting to have a new beginning or wanting to be sorry. Something in emotions and that because they're holding on to you. Okay, but you still have your eye on the prize because you're wanting something stable. And you just can't do this anymore. Okay, four wands. Lots of four wands here for Gemini. Four wands. Four wands. Okay, yeah. This person might even come in to say some things to make you feel confused. Okay, make you feel like that you might want to slide back. Okay, but then you're going to quickly defend yourself and stand your ground and remember how you got here in the first place. Okay. Continue to follow your intuition and lead you to where you need to go. Judgment. Why is judgment here? Judgment. One more. Okay, yeah, I feel like this this situation is over. You're ending it. It's been over. You're just going to let it be that. Okay? You're going to explore your options, whether it be people or just be new adventures that you can set upon. Okay? Taking action, taking a leadership role of your life, of your love life, of your financial life, of any aspect of your life in order to have balance. Okay? So you could be seeing reciprocity. Okay? Because you would mature emotionally. Okay? And you, what you want is an equal give and take. You don't want to fight over something all the time. Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini? Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is Six of Pentacles is representing you finally seeing reciprocity, okay? After a long time of no balance, okay? You finally have a new stable beginning that's promising for you when you're alone, okay? Something that you can invest in without any regret, okay? Something that you can see the fruition in after something being shaken up and you're feeling off a square, okay? Why is this King of Cups here? King of Cups, why is it here for Gemini? This is you feeling happy because you, you, you've, you've uh, evolved emotionally. You've matured, okay? You've matured enough to put it into the cycle, okay? And stop, keep doing that same go around, okay? And you're feeling victorious about it, okay? It's something to uh, feel good about because you finally made it out of a, a never-ending cycle that just keeps landing you around and around and around in a circle. It keeps landing you betrayed, okay? From the actions of a, one person or another. Okay, so could have been dealing with a player as well, but let's get you some advice out here in the universe before we end it.
pages of shit that. Please give us some advice. Regarding this spread for the week of August the 17th. Advice for my Gemini's. Regarding this spread. Regarding the week. Advice, advice, advice for my Gemini's regarding the spread for the week of August the 17th. Advice for my Gemini's regarding the spread for the week of August the 17th. has taken place or will be taking place, okay? Conflict. Arguing. Um, obstacles. Okay? Nine of swords. Stress. Ten of swords. Ending. Okay? Seven of swords. Confusion or being an option. King of wands. All of this is what you left behind. Okay, all of this is what you used this sword here to cut through. Okay, you're needing to keep in mind how far you come in order when you cut through this bullshit. You know everything that you've endured and come how far you come. Keep an eye on somebody. Somebody's trying to be tricky. Okay, but you're watching because look, it came out like this. You sitting there watching them with a little smoke on your face because you know what's going on. Okay. This person may think they're slick. Okay. You might they may think they nickel dod slick, but you got their penny change, okay? So with that being said, just remember how mature you've become emotionally, how much you've developed. Remember all the bullshit you cut through with this sword. Keep this sword present because it'll keep you from going back to bullshit. Bullshit that you already cut through, that you're done with, that's over and done with. You ain't no need to go back. It's over, it's done. Let it be what it may. Sometimes when you love people, it's hard to do. I know. I get it. I get it. I really do get it. You spend years with them all the time, just waiting because you love them, hoping that they change, hoping that today's going to be the day that they wake up and smell the coffee. But the motherfuckers still have it, okay? Anyway, that's what I got for you this week, Gemini. If this resonated with anybody, please do give me a thumbs up. Like the video. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed okay so i would love to have you as a subscriber i'd love to have you back here each and every week okay um i'm working on merch still but this is my new stuff i'm doing say smoke sound bitch okay that's that's the that's my stuff i'm doing for pie heads like myself okay <laughs> trades rolling trades with the matching accessories so but we'll talk about that later down the line when i got it ready to sell okay so i hope this helps somebody Hit me, don't forget to like the video if it did resonate with you, okay? Like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not, see you next week. That's what I got. Good luck with this. Namaste. Until next time.